Mweti explained that the land demarcation project aims to ensure that ports are numbered before they are allocated to residents. Council is also in the process of entering into an agreement with the National Housing Enterprise to construct locals housing at the settlement. This came about after a land needs analysis exercise that the regional council conducted to determine the demand for land based on affordability. The project involves the demarcation of plots to ensure that plots and roads as well as other servitudes are clearly marked and numbered before allocation can be done. Mweti added that the settlement's upgrading project is expected to be completed by end of March. It is worth mentioning that the criteria for plot allocation of the informal settlement project was crafted together with the community of Kalkfeld in January this year. The informal settlement project has started and is expected to finish in a month's time. The process of application of informal plots started in January early this year, and the next step that will follow is to assess the, applic the applicants based on the criteria that were set. Some of the initiatives aimed at changing the face of the settlement include Cockford Youth Brick Making Project, financed at $82,000, as well as the Rewa Wilding Project, the fencing of a graveyard, and renovations of a community hall and sports field. Upgrades valued at over $1 million were completed at the oxidation ponds. Cockfield, which was downgraded from a village status in 1996, is home to about 5,000 residents. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Cockfield.